E. Chip and Rob are out here in the shop on a very warm, warm day. And uh, we've cleaned out the shop a little bit to make room for another part of our solar generator project. And uh, we thought we'd introduce you to it. Now, when I was looking at having to rebuild the solar generator, get rid of the old one, build a new one, I had a lot of things to consider. Uh, one was, what were my needs going to be out there at Contentment for construction? And then ultimately, um, what will the house at Contentment need? My idea was to, you know, buy the components I would need for the house and use them for the solar, as many of them as I could for the solar generator, so that I'm not buying twice. I can, you know, just repurpose them. And uh, so there were a lot of things to consider. Um, I first considered uh, going with a 24 volt system, fewer batteries, 24 volt system, and a smaller inverter um, in a mobile cart that would be motorized with a DC motor, also powered by the 24 volts, so I can move it around because the batteries are very heavy. Are very heavy, sort of along the line of what you might see if you search the internet for a VSP 14,000, only larger. Uh, and then I realized that uh, an inverter, a 24 volt inverter, give me the the wattage that I wanted uh, was just going to be more expensive and heavier than I uh, than I imagined. So I went back to the drawing board and figured out, well, you know, what's the next step? And the next step would be a trailer or something like that that I could actually tow the heavier equipment behind the truck uh, with. And so that's the route I went and I looked and I looked. I'm really too cheap to pay full price for, uh, you know, an enclosed trailer. And I have seen other people on YouTube and online who have created solar generators using trailers and more power to them. I just, you know, I wanted something that was fairly compact, something I could tow behind my six cylinder truck and uh, something that would be, uh, and by the way, folks, if you can hear that train, you can understand why we want to get out to contentment. <laughs> anyway, some of those engineers are, they really like to lay on the train horn, that whistle. Anyway, uh, where was I? Um, so, I, I, you know, I looked around, looked around. I, I looked for a used trailer, uh, something that I could repurpose uh, into a solar generator, something not too big, but that would meet the need, hold what I need, and maybe a few extra items. And this is what I came up with. It's okay, wait just a minute for the train. Anyway, folks, here it is. It's not very big. It's a little welder's trailer, as you can see. It used to have his welder on here. Uh, it's very well made out of channel iron, and it's uh, 36 inches wide by about six feet long. It's not very big at all, but it has really good tires on it. Of course, this fender needs to be reattached because it's the welds are broken on it. And uh, you know, it, obviously, we need an enclosure to be built on it, but that's what we're going to start. So, welcome to the next stage in building our mobile equipment solar generator. So the black lines you see on this plywood is our massive octagon where we're gonna put our batteries. Sorry folks, a hot day. Sorry for the way I look. Um, I, uh, we've, uh, we've got the floor of the trailer done before I actually bolt it down. I'm going to spray some undercoating on it. This will help, hopefully, prevent the wood from rotting for those portions of the wood that stick out and uh, um, hopefully protect it. This is made for metal, but I thought I'd try it on the wood anyway and see if we get it. <laughs> Okay. 
Hey folks, E Chip and Rob are out here at the shop on a muggy, partly rainy July day. I tell you, we've we're covered in sawdust. We've had the wind blowing on us. Uh, I mean, the, the rain coming down on us in this project, and it's just been it's been an interesting day. But we managed to get some things done. We thought we'd show you where we're at. We um got the uh, sides and the uh, back and front and top of the mm -hmm. mobile. Uh, solar generator enclosure um, you know sort of fa fabricated erected and we test fitted it it's right here behind us we'll walk you around and show it to you but the next thing would be to pull all these pieces down now that we know that they fit and uh, put a uh, begin to uh, begin to strengthen them put a put a good finish on a good weatherproof finish on them so all right folks here's the uh, trailer and it, and if it looks a little bit like an old timey uh, uh, medicine. Uh, an old medicine show trailer. <laughs> yeah, it sort of reminds us of that too, but that, that roof is not going to be hanging over the front like that. Anyway, it is tall and it's narrow and uh, there's a reason for that because of the platform. The way it's built, we'll take you around and show you what all this, all these holes and things are for. This hole right here is going to be for just a passive vent. Uh, there'll be one on the uh, right, uh, rear, right rear passenger side and one on the driver upper uh, driver side and, and then uh, here's a vent fan for the battery compartment there'll be one on the other side there may actually be a 12 volt uh, temperature operated uh, vent for the battery compartment uh, keep those batteries under control they begin to vent out or whatever um, also these two holes uh, we decided that with the design that uh, we needed to create these two little access compartments one on the one on the right, one on the left, uh, with with uh, little you know access doors, uh, so we can store some things in there. Because otherwise, it would be dead space with all the batteries and things in there. So we want to take advantage of as much space in this as we can. The uh, hole right here above it will be an access panel um, for all the things that the generator can operate. The remote uh, displays for both the inverter and solar charge controller and all of the electrical receptacles things like that panel will be in there with a weatherproof door uh, the front we've taken off because we're getting ready to do some work to it here but uh, you can see this, is, this trailer is quite narrow and uh, the trailer platform itself is three feet wide we widened it to uh, just under four feet um, so we could you know maximize the space on it and then we built this enclosure um, <clears throat> and made it tall of course because we need to support uh, six very large LG solar panels one of them's back there you can see it there'll be six of them mounted to this side of the trailer over here but there's that passive vent that I talked about earlier here's the other vent uh, uh, fan port for the battery compartment and then an access port a uh, little storage compartment there so um, moving around to the door on the back pretty good sized door full height so we can just step right in the frame that you saw in the prior video as you can see uh, we'll just sort of the wall uh, of the trailer will attach to that add some um, add it'd be some added uh, strength there to hold up that really heavy inverter that will be hanging off of that um, this hexagon area, as I think we mentioned before in a prior video, is where the batteries will go. And the uh, battery compartment will be enclosed. It'll come up to about this chalk line right here. Enclose those batteries. On top of that will be storage and uh, whatever else we may want. So there it is. Um, the roof here, I don't know if you can tell, but those spars are curved a little bit. And that's to enable the roof to shed rain water when it's sitting or whatever so that's the uh that's the uh, generator trailer we've got so far it's been fun building this so far put a little step on the back it's been fun building this so far but we are getting ready to do some we're getting ready to do some work here on the front piece and uh it'll be uh, really interesting we've never done this before and <clears throat> I've only heard about it and I've heard good things about it, so I thought I'd try it, but we're going to try what's known as a poor man's 
fiberglass and it involves old bed sheets, glue, and paint. So uh, stick with us and check out how we do this because we're about to find out ourselves too.